Today is a very special day for ITER and for all ITER members. After many years of preparation and a lot of efforts everywhere in the world, we are ready to celebrate the start of the Totagamak Assembly phase. Indeed, we are now able to launch this new phase in parallel with the design and manufacturing phases because we have received recently, as planned five years ago, all the first components from the ITER members we needed to proceed. The Tokamak building and the assembling hall from Europe, the three large pre-assembled parts of the cryostat from India, the first sectors of the vacuum vessel from Korea with parts from India and Russia, the thermal shield from Korea, and the two first toroidal field coil from Japan. Furthermore, the many other components that will complement this first step are all on their way to be delivered through 2022, including the feeders from China and the central solenoid from the US. In 2006, in Paris, the seven ITER members decided to locate the project in Europe, more precisely in Provence, France. Since then, France, as a host state, has provided the best support to ITER and has fully complied with its commitment. It is highly appreciated by all ITER members. During the last three years, President Macron has always been very supportive of ITER and helpful to overcome any major difficulty we may face. We are very grateful for your always timely and decision action when ITER calls upon you, President Macron, to help, including for your participation today. So it is my large and sincere pleasure and honor to give you the floor Mr. President, from Elysee Palace in Paris, which is precisely where the ITER agreement was signed 14 years ago on 21 November 2006. Mr. President, we are listening to your introductory speech before we listen to the high dignitaries from all of the ITER members, and we would like to warmly thank them as well for their participation and continued strong support. Il est des moments où les peuples, les pays du monde choisissent de dépasser leurs différences pour se hisser à la hauteur de l'histoire. Et le lancement au milieu des années 2000 du projet ITER est de cela. ITER c'est une promesse de paix. Les États-Unis, la Russie, la Chine, le Japon, l'Europe, l'Inde et la Corée mettant à disposition leurs plus grands scientifiques, leurs meilleurs savoir-faire pour le bien commun. C'est la preuve que ce qui rassemble les hommes et les États est plus fort que ce qui les divise. ITER, c'est une promesse de progrès, de confiance dans la science, et c'est d'ores et déjà une prouesse scientifique et technologique. Imaginez que l'expérience soit concluante, qu'elle puisse trouver demain des applications industrielles. Nous aurons mis au point là une énergie non polluante, décarbonée, sûre et pratiquement sans déchets, qui permettra tout à la fois de répondre aux besoins de toutes les zones du globe, de relever le défi climatique et de préserver les ressources naturelles. Avec la fusion, le nucléaire peut être une filière d'avenir, encore plus qu'il ne l'est déjà. ITER, c'est précisément un acte de confiance en l'avenir. Les plus grandes avancées de l'histoire ont toujours été des paris, des parcours semés d'embûches. Au départ, on pense toujours que les obstacles seront plus forts que la volonté de faire, d'avancer, et ITER renoue avec cet esprit de découverte, d'ambition. Avec cette idée que grâce à la science, demain, en effet, peut être meilleur qu'hier. C'est pourquoi je suis fier que notre pays accueille ce projet pour l'avenir de l'humanité. ITER en latin signifie le chemin. La France, dans une Europe forte, entend à nouveau être de ces forces qui tracent pour le monde un nouveau chemin, un chemin de prospérité, un chemin de progrès pour tous. Merci, Merci. à vous.
We now turn to the global tour, uh, where we will hear from each of the seven ETER members. First, speaking on behalf of the host member, um, European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen was hoping to be with us today, but unfortunately was, able, one, was unable to do so due to unforeseen circumstances. Therefore, speaking for the European Union, we will turn first to Mikhail Meister, the State Parliamentary Secretary for Germany, and he will be uh, speaking on behalf of Chancellor Angela Merkel for Germany's presidency of the Council of the European Union. Director General Bigot, Your Excellencies, esteemed staff of the ITER organization, distinguished guests, it's a great pleasure to speak you, to you today as a representative of the Federal Republic of Germany. May I convey warmest regards and well wishes from Federal Chancellor Merkel and from Federal Research Minister Kalicek. It is a pity that I'm unable to attend today in person and have a look to the progress made at the ITER building site. But the pictures and the videos that I have seen on the ITER website are clear proof of the amazing progress made buildings and facilities which were still in the very early stage of construction during my visit at the beginning of the last year have since developed into splendid structures. This is particularly true of the Tokamak complex. A year ago, I guessed into the huge pit where the machine was to be built. The recent installation of the heaviest component of the ITER the 1,250-ton base section of the cryostat. And now the assembly of the tokamak means one huge piece of the puzzle will be followed by the next. It marks the start of assembly of the ITER machine. The ITER project has reached a critical milestone, and this is an occasion which deserves to be celebrated. Please allow me to take this opportunity to congratulate the entire team of the ITER organization and you, Mr. Bigot, in particular, for this latest achievement in the construction of ITER. The ITER project involves seven partners. Besides the European Union, they are China, India, Japan, Russia, South Korea, and the United States. This fact makes one thing clear. Without the contributions made by each individual ITER partner, we would not have reached the milestone we are celebrating today. And that is why my congratulations also go to all the ITER partners. I am well aware that the entire team of the ITER organization is facing enormous challenges due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Work steps planned have to be resought. Staff absence have to be compensated. Restrictions on imports and specific circumstances of the respective ITER members are complicating the timeline, timely delivery of components. The fact that the construction work is continuing despite these hurdles and that measures to minimize risks are being carried out at full speed shows that the project is in good hands. We are living in an age in which the search for alternative, sustainable sources of energy is of vital importance for the global climate. Solar energy and wind power are sources which we have already taped with success. The increasing demand for energy worldwide means we must investigate a broad range of options to secure future energy supply. Fusion research makes a contribution to long-term application-oriented basic research. Fusion is a focus of Germany energy research. The outstanding scientific know-how available in fusion research puts a global responsibility on Germany to advance the understanding of fusion processes for energy generation purposes. This is why Germany is supporting the completion of ITER according to the planned time and cost schedule. Germany will also continue to secure adequate funding for the ITER project during its EU Council presidency. Because ITER is an international project, it poses challenges 
which we can only solve by taking action together. After the stage win, which we are celebrating today, we are very much looking forward to the next big milestone, the first plasma. Until then, we will continue to cooperate with Fusion for Energy to ensure that the European in-kind contributions are made on time and that our financial obligations are met. I wish the entire team of ITER organization all the best and great success. And above all, please stay healthy. Thank you very much to State Secretary Meister as well as to Chancellor Merkel. We now turn, uh, give the floor to the European Commissioner for Energy, Kadri Simpson. Presidents, Prime Ministers, Ministers, Director General, distinguished guests, greetings. I'm very happy to be speaking to you all from Brussels. I'm sorry I cannot be there in person today, but I'm looking forward to visiting the site as soon as possible and seeing your great achievement firsthand. Today, we mark an important milestone for the ITER project and for fusion energy development. 10 years of work and 10 million components will culminate in the world's largest fusion research device. We cannot understate the importance of this as a technical achievement. Almost every individual element of ITER is at the cutting edge of its field. And I'm looking forward to seeing these extraordinary components combined to make something even greater than the sum of its parts. But today we celebrate more than just a technical milestone. I would like to highlight three things in particular. First, the strength of international collaboration. This work has benefited from the global collaboration between the ITER members. And I want to thank our partners from China, India, Japan, Korea, Russia and the United States for making this journey with the European Union. Without your participation and contribution, we would not be here today. I would also like to thank the European Domestic Agency and Fusion for Energy, as well as all the European companies and research organizations. Each of you have worked tirelessly to deliver the European contribution to the ITER project. Reaching today's milestone would not have been possible without all parties working towards a common goal. Second, ITER represents the determination of the EU in the fight against climate change. This Commission has adopted the European Green Deal as its roadmap to climate neutrality by 2050. In that light, the clean energy transition is both an ethical necessity and an economic opportunity. ITER perfectly demonstrates this duality. It is a major investment in our high-tech industries and clean energy sources for the future. Finally, I would like to talk about the importance of continuing to support projects like these in challenging times. The COVID-19 pandemic has forced us all to readjust our priorities. Europe is no exception. The European Commission has revised its proposal for its long-term budget and proposed the next generation EU to tackle our recovery. The journey might change, but our end goal remains the same. And so our commitment to projects like ITER cannot waver. It is not only a milestone on the path of diffusion power, but also a valuable tool for investment and development of our industries. This is why the European Union will, will maintain its support to ITER over the next seven years. To finish, I want to thank all of you for your strong willingness to make a success of ITER and what a success it has become. I also want to give special thanks to the representative of industry and the research community assembled. We have learned so much from you. You are the beating heart of ITER and its success depends on your vision, creativity and hard work. Of course, challenges still lie ahead of us. From this point on, our work becomes even more delicate and complex. But month after month, as a result of your work, plans are becoming reality and fusion research will soon lead to fusion energy.
We are on the right track, so let's celebrate our successes by looking forward to those to come. Thank you and enjoy today's event.